Hi, welcome to Equator. In this video, we are going to learn how to do matrix calculations, such as finding inverse of a matrix, determinant of a matrix, uh, matrix uh, addition, multiplication, transpose, and some other operation using this Sharp EL546W scientific calculator. So in order to work with matrix, we need to store the matrix in the memory and then do the calculation over the memory, such as uh, calculation over matrix A, B, C, and D. This calculator can store up to four matrix or four matrices, and that dimension can be up to three by three. So uh, let's say we have uh, this matrix and we want to store it in A. So first we have to go to the matrix mode, press mode, and then we press four for matrix or simply press four and uh, ma mode and four. So we, we are in a matrix mode. Now just press the lower arrow and you will see row. It will ask how many row we have. We have three rows. So we have three rows here. Press three and after that this M plus. Okay, so this M plus will ask you for the column because we have also three columns three and then this one again that's a data button we call it data so now this is row one we, we first row by row so in row one we have row one column one row one column two which is here uh, we have it as row one column one and then so seven and then press data and then row one column two which is four and then data and then five data so now it moves to the row two and then column one so three zero two three zero so two data three and then data zero data now we are in the third row eight one nine eight and then this one and then nine data three by three now it's finished it has not been stored we have not assigned it which memory it should be now after pressing mode in this calculator this math button functions uh, for the matrix now press math and then store press 2 and now we, we can store it mat into matrix a b this arrow shows that we have more so c d so i'm going up matrix a zero now this has been stored to check it we press math and then one and then zero for matrix a now if i just go down it shows row and then column now one one it shows seven go down it's four go down and then five one three and then go down second row first column two three zero and then eight one nine so this way you can check it or if you just want to recall it math and zero this is zero this is the matrix and then you can add or do something with this matrix now let's add this matrix into B so we can do some calculation over this. Again, so just press the lower arrow, it's 3, that's good. And then data column is also 3, 1, 1. This is previous value, but we enter minus. For minus, I'm pressing this. So minus 1, data, and then 5, and then 26. I'm entering now this one, and sorry. 26 and then data now we are in second row 3 14 9 so 3 14 9 and then 0 4 8 0 4 and then 3 row 3 column 3 is 8 now this is done store it into B now press mode 2 sorry press math and then 2 and then we are storing it in matrix B, so press 1. That has been stored now. Let's say you want to do calculation A plus B. So math 0 for the matrix and then matrix A again 0, that's matrix A plus math 0 matrix and then matrix B 1. So math A plus math B, so these are two matrix. So 3 by 3 is the dimension, row and then column and then scroll down. As you can see here, it's 6. 
because he remember minus one and seven that's six if I go down that's nine for five and four is nine and so forth now let's do matrix a times b times a so math and then matrix zero and then uh, matrix b one so matrix b multiply by math zero zero that is matrix a so if you just the same way you can go to each cell and see the value this uh, ma uh, calculator does not have answer matrix and some other calculator we have it otherwise we can just scale it let's say you want to do matrix a multiply by two so matrix zero zero a times two equal now this has been done so first one was seven that's 14 and that's eight and so forth now let's find the inverse of a matrix press mat bring the matrix zero and the matrix a zero now for the inverse we do second function and then two this is x to the power minus one so second function and two so that is inverse when i press it it shows the value so let me show you these are the exact values of that matrix so that's three by three now the first value is 3.8 if you want to see the exact value just press second function with this button 27 over 7 as you can see here and then scroll down row 1 column 2 that's the value second function and this so minus 31 that's 31 over 7 this is incorrect so the calculator is correct and so forth so all the value that's inverse of a matrix so now let's find the determinant of a matrix again time consuming process so uh, press math and then operation uh, sorry four that is determinant zero determinant of matrix a now recall the matrix just go math zero zero that is determinant of matrix a the answer is seven determinant is always a number now let's do transpose of matrix a transpose of a matrix is such that all the rows uh, will be column and column will be rows so but you need it sometimes in your calculation so let's say we want to do a trans transpose of matrix a matrix and then go down here four and then for transpose press one transpose of a which matrix just bring the matrix matrix a equal sign and here are the values so row become column and column become row uh, so this is one of the identity that uh, matrix multiplied by its inverse will give you identity so matrix and then zero zero multiplied by math zero zero matrix a multiplied by matrix a inverse i'm gonna press that so equal sign identity matrix is a diagonal matrix so three by three so the first element is one and then after that in this row zero zero and the last one here this calculator when it calculates it negative one to the power of negative 12 that is times 10 to the power negative 12 that's very tiny close to zero but this apparently doesn't show zero so two zero and then one and so forth a joint of a matrix this cannot do it this calculator reduce row echelon form and row echelon form cannot be done Casio calculator can do it and also Canon now let's just sort this matrix into C so scroll down just start by that so this is three two by two so two data two data and then one one that's one two one seven so that is completely done we store it in C math sorry all clear math two and then this time go down C is number two that is stored now let's do for D because we need to do some calculation here some example so go down two two is good and then 
one one so I'm entering eight data one data minus six data and then four data now store it math two three so this has been stored in D so to do the augmented matrix of C and D press math three three so that is augmented math three three and then bring the matrix math zero two that's matrix C matrix D is uh, math zero three so comma a second function STO it creates a comma now I'm bringing matrix D by math zero and three math zero three so that is matrix D Co close it and equal sign so it shows two row and then four column let's go down you can see here one two and then eight and then one now it goes to the next row one seven minus six and four now let's say you want to do cumulative sum of matrix a so the cumulative sum is such that the first row would be the same and the second row is the sum of 7 and 2 is 9 here. 4 and 3 is 7. 5 and 0 is 5. And the third row is the sum of the complete column. 7 plus 2 plus 8. That is as a result. So to do that, press math and then uh, operation. So 3, go down cumulative so press 2 now bring matrix A math 0 0 that's matrix A and then equal sign now as you can see it shows 3 by 3 and the first value is 7 4 and then 5 and then the next line is 9 7 and then 5 and then we have 17 8 and 14 that's it so thank you for watching please thumb up the video please share it and also if you're interested to view my upcoming videos please subscribe i appreciate it